Great to have you with us. We are in the Beko Kitchen for another Whoop Wednesday, and this week, Whoop guest chef Fraser Shenton is joining us to see how to recreate his curried fish with Mumbai potatoes. Uh, so, did you go to India to try this out? You know, is that where you got your inspiration from? No, no, I cheated. I had a uh, very, very good um, Indian sous chef. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, she took care of most of the hard work and flavour balancing on the sauce. Nice. Uh, yeah. So you basically stole a recipe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. She, she doesn't know we're doing this. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Archna. <laughs> <laughs> no, and this is a great thing with work because, let's, so if you were recreating this at home from scratch, how long would it take? Uh, at, least, at least four hours just on the sauce. <laughs> Four hours, okay. With the way Whoop have got it for you, delivered to your home on a Sunday, how long have you managed to get it down to preparation-wise? Uh, I can, I can do it about 12 minutes. 12 minutes. So if you want the best that you can get from from Whoop, then this is what you need to be doing because this will really cut down your preparation time and you're getting a spectacular meal. So what are we up to, Mark? What are we doing? Right, so we're going to start this curry sauce base. And I can smell, it smells good. All right, so just sort of sweating down some shallots, there's garlic in there, there's some chilies in there, and yep. then we're going to start adding all these beautiful spices. Mm. And then, so the whole idea is you want to be toasting them now, you're, you're releasing all the flavours in there and you're just sort of building all those layers of flavours throughout the sauce. Right. Oh. Okay. And what do you love about this recipe the most? Uh, finished product. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> Eating like, it. Yeah. Like that long, that long cook time right. doesn't just give time to get those flavours out, it lets them all marry. Okay. Uh, so you just get a lovely big harmony mm. flavour. Nice. And does it, you have to use a specific fish? No, no. So uh, in the restaurant, when we did a variation of this, we we're using monkfish. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but the gurnard is a really, really good option. Oh, good. Yeah. Still great texture. As long as it's fresh, you're going to have amazing flavour. Right. Okay. So it's all about getting the space right. And the good thing is you don't have to worry about it at home if you get your wheat box because it's all pre-done for you. Twelve minutes, Fraser said. That's the box that you will receive on a Sunday, and and it's all the instructions for you to not only make Fraser's meal but other meals as well, depending on the size of wheat box. So what are we putting in here? Oh, look at this. We've got some turmeric in here. Oh, turmeric. That's going to be yeah. the base of it. And that's, we were just talking about that. We were so just healthy. talking about that. It's good. Yeah, never have too much turmeric. All right, so just keep cooking it out. So obviously the key to the sauce is just nice and slow and get all those flavours there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're making a pickle as well. So we're making some garnish now for the uh, curry. So Fraser's just, uh, he's just peeling some courgettes. So nice and thin with a really good peeler, and you get these nice beautiful ribbons. And we've just got a, a pickling solution in here. What's so, your pickling solution? So a bit of vinegar, vinegar. Yeah. we've loosened it with a little bit of water, and then a little bit of sugar in there to balance. So we're just sort of slowly bringing that up so the sugar yep. melts, mm -hmm. get it nice and warm. You don't want to start reducing this, otherwise you'll knock the balance out. Okay. And then once all the courgettes are uh, peeled in the bowl, just pour the hot pickling solution over. Give it a good quick stir and just oh, okay, allow so you it don't to cool put, down. So you don't put the courgettes in there, you pour that over yeah, the Yeah, pour that over because okay, cool. if you start putting your courgettes in there, you know, you, they're, they're going to get too warm, they're going to go brown, they're going to go soft. You still want a little bit of texture in there. Nice work. There you go, Chef. Yeah, we used to work yeah. together. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I used to work for Mark at the food store. Yeah. Good grief. Did you work for Mark or did Mark work for you? <laughs> or was no, it well, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We both worked. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, it's nice having us reunited on the telly again, which is great. Yeah, that's um, it. And, and do, you know, do you try out each other's restaurants? Do you go to his restaurants and check out his food? Yeah, yeah. Or? When we get time. Obviously, we've got, both, uh, got small families now, so it's, uh, right. time is the, is the hardest thing. <laughs> but yeah, we, we've been to fish a couple of times. Nice. Really good, actually. Yeah. Nice. Oh, good. And he's got a copy of his cookbook. Has he uh, tried to sell you one of them yet? Yeah, he bought, he bought uh, one. You bought one? <laughs> yeah, I bought one. <laughs> we love it. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> fantastic. It's a great book. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll come back. Honestly, the smells here are fantastic. We'll come back and show you a little more a little later on. Where are we at, Fraser? What are we doing here? Uh, so we've still got sauce on tick. Yep. Here we've got uh, a little bit of clarified butter. It yes. was just infused with a few spices to get it rolling. So right, so uh, I saw you mix that, but then for Whoop, it's already done, isn't it? Yeah, really Easy. good. Colour coated, ready for you to go. You don't need to worry about the ingredients. It's all there with Whoop. Okay, and that smells incredible. Yeah, yeah, mm. and it's it's just going to get better, really. So what we're really trying to do is build up a little crust on the potatoes. Okay. So you need a good non-stick pan yep. so you can just keep them moving. Nice. And that'll crust up. We'll uh, add in a little bit of mustard seed, some coriander and cumin seed into there as well, just so they can toast off. 
Yeah. We wait a little bit before we do that with okay. this, so right. they don't burn. Okay, sweet. Uh, and the good thing is, is that your potatoes are um, parboiled and uh, already cubed up for wheat. You don't have to worry about that, which is fantastic, <laughs> isn't it? And here's that beautiful sauce. So, you know, fast forward four hours of just slow cooking, you can see it's thickened, it's reduced, it's, um, you know, all those flavours are marrying together. And, I mean, the smell of it now is just absolutely fantastic. Oh, you know? yum. This is something uh, I've learned how to do here at the cafe. Do a pan. Call your pan down. Do an amazing job. Okay, so we're on to the fish preparation now, aren't we? What do we need to do yeah, here? So, so the fish is all ready to go. So, we've got this beautiful gurnard here. Uh, we're going to leave it whole in the fillets. There's no bones in there, but it always pays just to double check. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, just going to give it a light season, and then we've got a nice uh, hot non-stick pan there, and we're going to pan fry that. Oops. But we nice. want to get a really good uh, caramelised colour on there. Do you want me to do this for you, Fraser? Yeah, well, you're doing an amazing job. Thank you. <laughs> Been taught by the best. <laughs> One of the best. <laughs> OK, cool. So fish now. The yeah, potatoes so are underway. So a nice hot pan. Great. Good, good amount of oil. Oh. Give it a little swish round. Get your oil hot as well. So yep. give it 30 seconds so you get your oil hot and then that's going to ensure a nice um, colour in there. Pop it in your pan. Yeah. Was that 30 seconds? You can. I'm, th I'm counting. That is 30 now. Yeah. <laughs> and then pop it in away from you so you don't get any uh, of that oil on your fingers mm. and burn your fingers. Always there with the tips. There you Mark, go. Always right in there, there with the tips. Don't overcrowd your pan either. That's, uh, that's enough. And then we're just going to... So just leave it on that one side. So you probably want to do like 90% of the cooking on that one side. So a really nice golden crust on there. And then what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to put the sauce in with the pan. Yeah, so we'll turn the fish and just finish that cooking in the sauce. Yep. Then uh, we're we'll ready. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much yeah. ready to plate it up. Now it's over to Mark and Fraser to see the finished curry fish, which you can have delivered this Sunday. If you head along to whoop.co.nz, smells incredible. You happy, boys? Yeah, it looks yeah. good, huh? Nice. Thank you, Fraser.